Flow is a concept developed by Mihai Csikszentmihalyi, a psychologist and professor known for his work in the field of positive psychology. Csikszentmihalyi coined the term flow to describe a state of optimal experience and engagement. According to Csikszentmihalyi, flow is a state of complete immersion and focus in an activity where individuals feel fully absorbed and energized by what they are doing. During flow, people often experience a sense of timelessness, effortless concentration, and a merging of action and awareness. They become so engrossed in the activity that they lose self-consciousness and have a heightened sense of control and satisfaction. Sixth Mihaly identified several key characteristics of flow experiences. Including, 1. Clear goals. Flow experiences require clear objectives and a sense of what needs to be done. 2. Immediate feedback. Individuals engaged in flow activities receive immediate and clear feedback about their performance, allowing them to adjust and refine their actions accordingly. 3. Balance between challenge and skill. Flow occurs when the demands of the task at hand match an individual's skills. If the challenge is too low, people may feel bored, while if it is too high, they may feel anxious or overwhelmed. 4. Total concentration. Flow requires complete focus and concentration on the task, often leading to a sense of losing oneself in the activity. 5. Loss of self-consciousness, during flow. Individuals become less aware of themselves and their concerns, experiencing a sense of detachment from their everyday worries and problems. 6. Sense of control. Flow experiences provide a sense of mastery and control over the activity, allowing individuals to feel competent and effective, Flow can be experienced in various activities, such as sports, artistic pursuits, work tasks, or hobbies. Sixth Mihaly suggests that cultivating flow experiences can lead to increased happiness, personal growth, and overall well-being. Sixth Mihaly's work on flow has had a significant impact on the fields of psychology, education, and creativity. His research has helped shed light on the conditions necessary for individuals to achieve optimal performance and satisfaction in their lives. In his book, Flow, The Psychology of Optimal Experience, Mihai Csikszentmihalyi explores the concept of flow in depth and provides insights into how individuals can achieve optimal experiences in their lives. Here are some key ideas from the book. 1. Flow is an optimal state of consciousness characterized by complete immersion, focus, and enjoyment in an activity. Flow is often described as an optimal state of consciousness where individuals are fully immersed, focused, and derive a high level of enjoyment from the activity they are engaged in. When in a state of flow, people often experience a deep sense of concentration, effortless involvement, and a feeling of being fully present in the moment. It is a state where individuals are so absorbed in what they are doing that their sense of self and the passage of time may temporarily fade away. Flow can be a highly rewarding and satisfying experience, as it allows individuals to tap into their strengths, engage in activities they find meaningful, and achieve a sense of mastery and fulfillment. Two. Flow experiences are marked by a merging of action and awareness, where individuals become completely absorbed in what they are doing. In flow experiences, there is a merging of action and awareness, leading to a deep and complete absorption in the present moment. When individuals are in a state of flow, they are fully focused on the task at hand, and their attention is entirely directed towards the activity. The boundaries between the individual and the activity may blur, creating a seamless connection between their actions and their awareness. This merging of action and awareness during flow is often described as a state of being in the zone or being in the groove. It is characterized by a heightened sense of concentration and a feeling of effortless control. In this state, individuals may experience a sense of oneness with the activity, where their movements and thoughts flow harmoniously, without any self-consciousness or internal distractions. The merging of action and awareness in flow allows individuals to perform at their best, as they are fully attuned to the present moment and can respond to the demands of the task with precision and agility. It is this complete absorption and integration of action and awareness that contribute to the deep enjoyment and fulfillment that flow experiences can bring. 3. Flow occurs when the challenges of a task match an individual's skills and abilities. It requires a balance between challenge and skill, 
when the challenges of a task are too low compared to an individual's skills, they may feel bored or unengaged. The activity may not provide enough stimulation or opportunities for growth, leading to a lack of interest and motivation. On the other hand, when the challenges of a task exceed an individual's skills, they may feel overwhelmed, anxious, or even frustrated. The activity may seem too difficult or demanding, creating a sense of inadequacy and hindering the ability to effectively engage with the task. Flow experiences arise when there is a harmonious match between the level of challenge and an individual's skills. The challenges are perceived as manageable and stimulating. Pushing individuals to stretch and utilize their abilities to the fullest extent. This balance creates a state of focused immersion and deep concentration, as individuals are motivated and engaged by the opportunities for growth and achievement that the task presents. It's important to note that the balance between challenge and skill can vary depending on the individual and the specific task or activity. As individuals develop their skills, they may seek out increasingly challenging tasks to continue experiencing flow and personal growth. Finding and maintaining this balance is a key aspect of cultivating flow experiences in various domains of life. 4. Clear goals and immediate feedback are essential for achieving flow. They provide direction and allow individuals to adjust their actions accordingly. Clear goals and immediate feedback play vital roles in facilitating and sustaining flow experiences. Clear goals. Having clear goals provides individuals with a sense of direction and purpose. Well-defined objectives help individuals understand what they need to accomplish, which enhances their focus and concentration. Clear goals provide a framework for organizing actions and allocating attention. Enabling individuals to channel their efforts toward specific outcomes. By knowing what they are striving for, individuals can align their skills and abilities with the task at hand, increasing the likelihood of achieving flow. Immediate feedback. Immediate feedback is crucial for flow because it allows individuals to adjust their actions in real time. Feedback provides information about how well they are performing and whether they are moving closer to their goals. It helps individuals monitor their progress, make necessary corrections, and maintain their engagement in the activity. Immediate feedback allows individuals to calibrate their efforts and maintain the balance between challenge and skill, which is essential for flow. It also helps in building a sense of competence and self-efficacy, as individuals can see the tangible results of their actions. Together, clear goals and immediate feedback create a feedback loop that helps individuals stay engaged, make necessary adjustments, and continuously strive for optimal performance. They provide a sense of structure, direction, and progress, which are important for achieving and sustaining flow experiences in various domains of life such as work, sports, or creative endeavors. 5. Flow experiences often result in a sense of timelessness, where hours may pass by in what feels like minutes. One of the fascinating characteristics of flow experiences is the sense of timelessness that individuals often report. When fully immersed in a flow state, individuals can lose track of time, and hours can seem to pass by very quickly, even though they might have been engaged in the activity for an extended period. This altered perception of time during flow can be attributed to several factors. 1. Deep concentration. Flow experiences require intense focus and concentration, where individuals become fully absorbed in the task at hand. This heightened state of concentration can lead to a narrowed focus on the present moment, causing individuals to lose awareness of the passage of time. 2. Absence of self-consciousness. In flow, individuals experience a decreased sense of self-awareness and self-consciousness. They become fully engrossed in the activity, and their attention is directed outward rather than inward. This diminished self-awareness can contribute to a sense of time slipping away unnoticed. 3. Engagement in intrinsically rewarding activities. Flow is often experienced in activities that are inherently enjoyable and rewarding in themselves. When individuals are deeply engaged and enjoying what they are doing, they tend to be less aware of the passage of time. 4. Deep sense of focus and challenge. The optimal balance between challenge and skill in flow experiences requires individuals to be fully engaged and mentally stretched. 
This high level of engagement can create a sense of timelessness, as individuals are fully absorbed in meeting the demands of the task, these factors, among others, contribute to the subjective experience of time distortion during flow. It is a testament to the immersive and captivating nature of flow experiences, where individuals become so engrossed in the present moment that time seems to fade into the background. 6. The intense focus and concentration during flow lead to a loss of self-consciousness and a decreased awareness of everyday worries and concerns. When individuals enter a state of flow, there is often a noticeable decrease in self-consciousness and a diminished awareness of everyday worries and concerns. This shift in awareness is one of the defining characteristics of flow experiences. Here's why it happens. 1. Intense focus and concentration. Flow requires a high level of focus and concentration on the task at hand. When individuals are deeply immersed in the activity, their attention becomes fully absorbed, leaving little mental space for self-conscious thoughts or worries about external concerns. 2. Altered sense of time. As mentioned earlier, flow experiences can lead to a sense of timelessness, where hours can feel like minutes. This distortion of time further contributes to a decreased awareness of everyday worries, as attention is entirely directed toward the present moment. 3. Clear goals and immediate feedback. Clear goals and immediate feedback, which are integral to flow experiences, provide a sense of structure and direction. This clarity allows individuals to direct their attention and effort toward the task, reducing the mental space available for self-consciousness or concerns unrelated to the activity. 4. Optimal Challenge Skill Balance, when individuals are in flow. The challenges presented by the activity match their skill level. This balance creates a state of flow where individuals are fully engaged and absorbed in the task. In this state, concerns and worries unrelated to the activity tend to fade away, as attention is focused on meeting the challenges and utilizing skills, overall, the intense focus, concentration, and engagement in flow experiences create a mental state where self-consciousness and everyday worries are temporarily set aside. The immersive nature of flow allows individuals to be fully present and absorbed in the task, leading to a sense of freedom from self-related concerns and a heightened state of focus and enjoyment. 7. Flow activities are intrinsically rewarding and enjoyable in themselves. They are referred to as autotelic activities. Flow activities are often described as autotelic activities, meaning they are intrinsically rewarding and enjoyable in themselves. The term autotelic stems from the Greek words auto, self, and telos, goal, suggesting that the activity itself is its own reward and provides a sense of fulfillment. Here's why flow activities are considered autotelic, one dot enjoyment in the process. In flow experiences, individuals derive pleasure and satisfaction from the very act of engaging in the activity. The process itself is inherently enjoyable, and individuals find the experience rewarding, regardless of external outcomes or rewards. 2. Fulfillment of inherent needs, flow activities often fulfill fundamental psychological needs, such as a sense of competence, autonomy, and relatedness. Engaging in activities that align with these needs naturally leads to a sense of satisfaction and intrinsic motivation. 3. Immersion and engagement. Flow experiences are characterized by a state of complete immersion and deep engagement. Individuals become fully absorbed in the activity, and their attention is directed toward the present moment. This high level of engagement contributes to the intrinsic rewards derived from the activity itself. 4. Intrinsic motivation, flow experiences are often driven by intrinsic motivation, which means individuals engage in the activity for its own sake rather than for external rewards or incentives. The inherent enjoyment and satisfaction derived from flow activities serve as powerful motivators to continue engaging in them. Autotelic activities are central to experiencing flow consistently and developing a fulfilling life. By identifying and engaging in activities that are inherently rewarding and enjoyable, individuals can create more opportunities for flow experiences, enhance their well-being, and cultivate a sense of meaning and satisfaction in their lives. 8. Engaging in flow activities can lead to a sense of fulfillment, happiness, and personal growth. Engaging in flow activities can have profound positive effects on individuals' well-being, leading to a sense of fulfillment, 
happiness, and personal growth. Here's how flow experiences contribute to these outcomes. 1. Sense of fulfillment. Flow experiences provide a deep sense of fulfillment because they allow individuals to engage in activities that align with their interests, passions, and strengths. When individuals are fully immersed in activities they find meaningful and enjoyable, they experience a profound sense of satisfaction and accomplishment. 2. Happiness and positive emotions. Flow experiences are often associated with positive emotions such as joy, satisfaction, and happiness. The intense focus, absorption, and enjoyment in flow activities can elevate mood, increase positive effect, and enhance overall well-being. 3. Self-esteem and self-confidence. Flow experiences can boost self-esteem and self-confidence as individuals experience a sense of mastery and competence. The challenges and skills required in flow activities provide opportunities for personal growth and achievement, leading to increased belief in one's capabilities and a positive self-perception. 4. Personal growth and development. Engaging in flow activities can foster personal growth and development. The challenges presented in flow experiences push individuals to expand their skills, overcome obstacles, and continually strive for improvement. Through these experiences, individuals can develop new abilities, deepen their knowledge, and enhance their overall personal growth. 5. Engagement and Meaning Flow experiences often involve activities that are personally meaningful and aligned with individuals' values and interests. Engaging in these activities promotes a sense of engagement, purpose, and meaning in life. Flow allows individuals to tap into their passions and immerse themselves in activities that bring a sense of purpose and fulfillment. 6. Enhanced Performance and Creativity Flow experiences have been associated with enhanced performance and creativity. The state of deep focus, heightened concentration, and optimal challenge skill balance in flow can lead to improved performance outcomes and foster creative thinking and problem-solving abilities. Overall, flow experiences offer a pathway to personal fulfillment, happiness, and growth. By seeking out and cultivating flow in various areas of life, individuals can enhance their overall well-being, tap into their full potential, and lead more satisfying meaningful lives. 9. Flow can be experienced in various domains, including work, hobbies, sports, relationships, and creative endeavors. Flow can be experienced in various domains of life, spanning from work and hobbies to sports, relationships, and creative endeavors. Here's how flow manifests in different areas. 1. Work. Flow can be experienced in the workplace when individuals are fully engaged and immersed in their tasks. When the challenges and skills match, individuals can enter a state of flow, leading to increased productivity, creativity, and job satisfaction. 2. Hobbies. Engaging in hobbies that are personally meaningful and enjoyable can lead to flow experiences. Whether it's playing a musical instrument, painting, gardening, or any other hobby, the deep focus and enjoyment derived from these activities can result in flow. 3. Sports. Athletes often experience flow during intense competition or training sessions. Being completely absorbed in the sport, with a clear goal and immediate feedback, allows athletes to perform at their best, achieving a state of peak performance and enjoyment. 4. Relationships. Flow can also be experienced in relationships when individuals are fully present and engaged with their partners or loved ones. Deep connections, meaningful interactions, and shared experiences can create a sense of flow in relationships, where individuals feel a strong bond and a sense of unity. 5. Creative endeavors. Artists, writers, musicians, and other creative individuals often experience flow during their creative processes. The state of complete immersion and focus allows them to tap into their creative potential, resulting in moments of inspiration, artistic expression, and a deep sense of fulfillment. The versatility of flow across different domains highlights its broad applicability and potential to enhance experiences in various areas of life. By seeking out activities that align with personal interests, challenge skills, and provide opportunities for engagement, 
individuals can cultivate flow in diverse aspects of their lives, leading to enhanced performance, enjoyment, and personal growth. 10. Flow can be achieved in mundane or routine tasks by adding challenges or finding ways to make them more engaging. Flow can be achieved even in mundane or routine tasks by introducing certain elements that increase the level of challenge or make the tasks more engaging. Here are some strategies to make mundane tasks more conducive to flow. 1. Set clear goals, clearly define the objectives or desired outcomes of the task. Having specific goals provides a sense of direction and purpose, which can increase engagement and focus. 2. Increase the level of challenge, find ways to make the task slightly more challenging. This can be done by setting higher performance standards, introducing time constraints, or adding complexity to the task. The increased challenge can help maintain focus and prevent boredom. 3. Find intrinsic motivation, identify the inherent value or meaning within the task. Explore how the task aligns with personal values, contributes to long-term goals, or provides a sense of accomplishment. By finding intrinsic motivation, you can Increase your engagement and interest in the task, for dot seek novelty and variety, look for ways to introduce novelty or variety into the task. This can be done by approaching the task from a different perspective, trying new methods or techniques, or breaking the task down into smaller subtasks that can be approached in different ways. Novelty can help sustain interest and prevent monotony. 5. Seek immediate feedback. Create mechanisms for receiving immediate feedback on your performance. Feedback provides a sense of progress and allows for adjustments and improvements. It can also enhance engagement and increase the sense of challenge. 6. Practice mindfulness. Bring a sense of mindfulness and full presence to the task at hand. Focus on the sensations, details, and intricacies of the task. By being fully present, you can enhance the quality of your engagement and immerse yourself more deeply in the activity. By incorporating these strategies, even mundane tasks can become more engaging and potentially lead to flow experiences. The key is to introduce elements that increase the challenge, provide intrinsic motivation, and promote a sense of focus and engagement. 11. Flow is not limited to activities that are traditionally considered enjoyable, it can be experienced in tasks that require effort and focus. Flow is not limited to activities that are traditionally considered enjoyable or pleasurable. It can be experienced in tasks that require effort, focus, and concentration. In fact, some of the most profound flow experiences can arise from engaging in challenging and demanding activities. Here's why, 1. Intrinsic motivation and growth. Flow experiences are often driven by intrinsic motivation, which means individuals engage in the activity for the inherent satisfaction and personal growth it brings. Challenging tasks that require effort and focus can provide opportunities for skill development, mastery, and a sense of achievement, leading to intrinsic motivation and flow. 2. Heightened focus and concentration. Flow experiences require a high level of concentration and focused attention. Engaging in tasks that demand effort and focus naturally promotes deep engagement and can lead to flow, as individuals become fully absorbed in meeting the challenges presented by the task. 3. Sense of accomplishment. Flow experiences in challenging tasks can result in a heightened sense of accomplishment. Overcoming obstacles, pushing one's limits, and achieving success in demanding activities can be incredibly rewarding and fulfilling, contributing to the experience of flow. For dot pushing boundaries and growth mindset, flow experiences in challenging tasks often involve pushing beyond one's comfort zone and embracing a growth mindset. Individuals willingly take on difficult tasks, embrace the challenges, and view setbacks as opportunities for learning and improvement. This mindset fosters resilience, personal growth, and the potential for flow. 5. Engagement in meaningful work. Flow can be experienced in tasks that are personally meaningful and aligned with one's values and goals, regardless of the level of challenge. Engaging in meaningful work, even if it requires effort and focus, can tap into intrinsic motivation, leading to flow experiences. It's important to recognize that flow is not limited to activities that are inherently enjoyable or easy. 
By embracing challenges, engaging in meaningful work, and cultivating a focused and immersive mindset. Individuals can experience flow in tasks that require effort and focus, leading to personal growth, satisfaction, and a sense of fulfillment. 12. Flow experiences often result in a state of effortless effort, where individuals are fully engaged, yet the activity feels effortless and natural. Flow experiences often lead to a state of effortless effort, where individuals are fully engaged in the activity, yet it feels effortless and natural. This paradoxical state can be attributed to several factors. 1. Optimal challenge skill balance. Flow occurs when the challenges presented by the task match an individual's skills and abilities. When the level of challenge aligns with one's capabilities, it creates a state of flow where individuals feel fully engaged and capable. In this state, even though the activity requires effort, it feels effortless because individuals are operating within their optimal performance zone. 2. Heightened focus and concentration. Flow experiences involve intense focus and concentration, where individuals are fully absorbed in the task at hand. This heightened state of attention allows individuals to utilize their skills and abilities effectively, leading to a sense of effortlessness. When attention is fully directed toward the activity, distractions fade away, and individuals can perform with ease. 3. Absence of self-consciousness. In flow, individuals experience a reduced sense of self-awareness and self-consciousness. They become fully immersed in the activity, and their attention is directed outward rather than inward. This shift in focus from the self to the task at hand can contribute to the perception of effortlessness. 4. Altered perception of time. Flow experiences often result in a sense of timelessness, where individuals lose track of time. When fully absorbed in the present moment, individuals may not be consciously aware of the effort they are exerting. Further enhancing the feeling of effortlessness. 5. Enjoyment and intrinsic motivation, flow experiences are characterized by a deep sense of enjoyment and intrinsic motivation. When individuals are fully engaged in activities they find inherently rewarding and enjoyable, the effort required becomes a natural part of the immersive experience. The joy and fulfillment derived from the activity overshadow any perceived effort. In summary, flow experiences can create a state of effortless effort, where individuals are fully engaged, yet the activity feels effortless and natural. The optimal challenge skill balance, heightened focus, reduced self-consciousness, altered perception of time, and the enjoyment of the activity contribute to this unique state of flow. 13. Cultivating flow requires developing skills, seeking out challenges, and finding ways to increase complexity and novelty in activities. Cultivating flow experiences involves intentional actions and strategies to develop skills, seek out challenges, and increase complexity and novelty in activities. Here are some key approaches to cultivate flow. 1. Skill development. Developing skills is crucial for entering a state of flow. By actively improving and expanding your abilities in a particular domain, you increase your capacity to meet challenges and engage more deeply in the activity. Deliberate practice and continuous learning are essential for skill development. 2. Seek out challenges. Flow occurs when the challenges presented by an activity match your skills and abilities. Actively seek out tasks and activities that push your boundaries and require you to stretch and grow. Embracing challenges that are slightly beyond your current skill level promotes flow by keeping you engaged and motivated. 3. Increase complexity. To cultivate flow, find ways to increase the complexity of the activities you engage in. This can involve adding new dimensions, elements, or variations to the task. By increasing complexity, you create opportunities for deeper engagement, problem solving, and a greater sense of challenge. 4. Embrace novelty. Introducing novelty into activities can enhance flow experiences. Novelty captures attention and stimulates engagement. Explore new approaches, techniques, or perspectives in your activities. This helps keep things fresh, prevents boredom, and promotes a heightened state of focus and immersion. 5. Set clear goals and feedback mechanisms. Clearly define goals and objectives for the activities you engage in. Having clear targets provides direction and 
helps maintain focus. Additionally, establish feedback mechanisms that provide immediate and relevant information about your performance. Feedback allows for adjustments and improvements, facilitating flow. 6. Balance difficulty and skill. Flow is most likely to occur when the level of challenge matches your skill level. Strive for activities that offer a balance between difficulty and your abilities. Too little challenge can lead to boredom, while overwhelming challenges can result in anxiety. Finding the sweet spot allows for optimal engagement and flow. 7. Cultivate presence and mindfulness. Cultivating presence and mindfulness in your activities enhances the likelihood of experiencing flow. Focus on the present moment, fully immersing yourself in the task at hand. Minimize distractions and be fully engaged in the here and now, by intentionally developing skills, seeking challenges, increasing complexity, embracing novelty, setting clear goals, and cultivating. Presence, you create an environment that fosters flow experiences. These strategies help you engage deeply, experience enjoyment, and achieve a state of optimal performance and fulfillment. 14. The pursuit of external rewards, such as money or fame, does not necessarily lead to flow or long-term happiness. Intrinsic motivation is crucial for sustained flow experiences. The pursuit of external rewards, such as money or fame, does not necessarily lead to flow experiences or long-term happiness. Intrinsic motivation, which comes from within, is a crucial factor for sustained flow experiences. Here's why intrinsic motivation is important. 1. Authentic engagement. Flow experiences are deeply rooted in personal enjoyment, interest, and intrinsic motivation. When individuals engage in activities solely for external rewards, the focus shifts away from the inherent satisfaction and joy of the activity itself. This can hinder the ability to enter a state of flow and diminish the overall experience. 2. Autonomy and self-determination. Intrinsic motivation allows individuals to have a sense of autonomy and self-determination in their activities. When individuals engage in activities driven by their own interests and values, they have a greater sense of control over their experiences, which contributes to flow. 3. Sustainable motivation. External rewards, such as money or fame, are often short-lived and may not provide lasting motivation. Intrinsic motivation, on the other hand, is sustainable because it stems from genuine enjoyment and personal fulfillment. This sustainable motivation keeps individuals engaged in activities over the long term, increasing the likelihood of experiencing flow. 4. Focus on the present moment. Intrinsic motivation directs individuals' attention to the present moment and the activity itself, rather than external outcomes. Flow experiences require deep engagement and immersion in the present moment, and intrinsic motivation helps individuals maintain that focus. 5. Fulfillment and well-being. Pursuing external rewards alone may not lead to long-term happiness or a sense of fulfillment. Flow experiences, driven by intrinsic motivation, have been linked to enhanced well-being, personal growth, and a deeper sense of satisfaction and meaning in life while external rewards can provide temporary motivation or serve as recognition for achievements. They are not the primary drivers of sustained flow experiences. Intrinsic motivation, stemming from personal interest, enjoyment, and the inherent value of the activity, is the key to cultivating long-term engagement, flow, and overall well-being. 15. Flow is a trainable skill that can be cultivated through practice, attention, and deliberate effort. Flow is indeed a trainable skill that can be cultivated through practice, attention, and deliberate effort. While some individuals may naturally be more predisposed to experiencing flow, anyone can enhance their ability to enter a state of flow. Through intentional cultivation. Here are some ways to develop and cultivate the skill of flow. 1. Engage in deliberate practice. Deliberate practice involves purposeful and focused efforts to improve specific skills. By setting clear goals, breaking down complex tasks into manageable parts, and engaging in deliberate practice, you can enhance your abilities and increase your chances of entering a state of flow. 2. Develop self-awareness. Developing self-awareness is essential for cultivating flow. Pay attention to your strengths, weaknesses, and areas of interest. 
understand what activities and conditions tend to elicit flow for you personally. This self-awareness helps you identify the types of tasks and environments that are most conducive to experiencing flow. 3. Increase challenges gradually. Flow occurs when the level of challenge matches your skills. Gradually increase the level of difficulty or complexity in the tasks you engage in. Push your boundaries and take on challenges that stretch your abilities, but are still within your reach. This gradual increase in challenge promotes flow and helps you develop your skills. For dot practice mindfulness and deep focus, cultivate mindfulness and deep focus in your activities. Be fully present and engaged in the task at hand. Minimize distractions and immerse yourself in the present moment. Developing the ability to sustain attention and focus enhances your capacity to enter a state of flow. 5. Seek feedback and reflect. Seek feedback on your performance and reflect on your experiences. Feedback provides valuable insights for improvement and adjustments. Reflecting on your flow experiences helps you understand the conditions, strategies, and mindset that contribute to flow. Use this feedback and reflection to refine your approach and further cultivate flow. 6. Embrace a growth mindset. Adopt a growth mindset, which views challenges and setbacks as opportunities for learning and growth. Embrace the belief that skills end. Abilities can be developed through effort and practice. A growth mindset fosters resilience, motivation, and a willingness to engage in challenging activities, increasing the likelihood of flow experiences. Remember that cultivating flow is a process that requires consistent effort and practice. It may take time to develop the skill, but with persistence and intentional cultivation, you can enhance your ability to enter a state of flow and enjoy the benefits it brings. Overall, flow provides a comprehensive exploration of the concept and benefits of flow, offering readers insights into how they can cultivate optimal experiences and find greater fulfillment in their daily lives. Please hit the subscribe button for the support of our channel and share our videos for more new upcoming content. We are very happy to create new ideas and review for everyone. God bless and happy listening.